Feels to me like a couple of shots of tequila, honestly. Kind of nice. Wonder if it comes in six packs. What's up, YouTubers? Today is the day I am getting my Moderna vaccine. I'm on my way in a few minutes to go do that. And I'm a little nervous. I'm not as nervous as I was because I researched a little bit about messenger RNA and how that's a natural process in the body. And you're not really getting a virus. You're getting basically genetic instructions for your cells is all it is. Anyway, I am going to CVS and just a little heads up about that. So you have to sign up online on their website. And when you do, you'll see this. Now that was kind of disturbing to me because you should be able to select what vaccine you want. But fear not, as you get further into the sign-up process on that website, it does show you the different branches and what vaccine is carried at the different branches. So it's kind of strange that you have to select a branch to get the vaccine you want, but that's the way they're doing it. So then you could just pick the one that has the vaccine you want. Still a little nervous. Here I go. I am taking the back roads. Guess I'm not in so much of a hurry to get there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I am here. I'm gonna go see if I can ask them if I can tape this. See what happens here. Thank you. Hi, I have a one o'clock appointment for a Moderna vaccine. Can I have your, um, I need your license, please. License. Is this gonna be your first or your second shot? This is the first time? Here you go, and she'll be with you in a little bit. Just wait, Just wait a red chair. Okay, thank you. I have to wait in the red chairs. <coughs> And have you ever had an allergic reaction or anything to a vaccine? Um, no, I have not. Do you want to sit? Or I'll sit. Is this supposed to go through a discount? All right. And you can just roll up your arm. And then we do ask that you stay for 15 minutes after. Okay. Um, just so that if you were to have a... 
reaction. Reaction. And I can save you with the event. Okay. All right. All done. Okay. All that hype, and it's like five seconds. Yeah. It's just the aftermath that everybody thinks about, like the reaction. So. Exactly. And, and you have a heart band aid. How can you have a bad day with a heart band aid? I have a heart band aid. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to wait for 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, in case there's any kind of reaction. But I actually feel okay. I feel pretty good. I felt a little bit of a buzz or something from it after I got it. But I don't know. I don't know what that was, but I, I feel okay so far. So far. Outside the vaccination place. Feel okay. I actually feel pretty good. So I'm doing a little highway contemplation out here after getting the COVID-19 Moderna vaccination. And I can't say that... There's no reaction. It feels to me like a couple of shots of tequila, honestly. Kind of nice. I wonder if it comes in six packs. in the car so yeah one of the symptoms that it does make you a little tired I think but I still feel good that's it just a little tired okay so it is the day after the Moderna vaccine shot number one and it is much different than the day of. The day of, as you saw, I had all kinds of energy. There was no pain at the vaccination site. I felt great. Uh, it's kind of what I describe as like a two-shot whiskey euphoria for a little while. Felt amazing, and then suddenly you don't. And that's when I fell asleep in my car. So day two is more of that. Uh, I woke up like 4 o'clock in the morning, really feeling warm. Uh, vaccination site was sore and had a slight headache, which was mostly attributable to the fact that I slept with my contact lenses in, but also a little bit to the fact that there was something alien in my body and there's inflammation in there. Uh, the rest of the day, kind of fatigue, and you have that sort of slow feeling like you get when your body's fighting off something, uh, some kind of infection. So overall tolerable. I did have an advantage in knowing that some people in my family had gotten the Moderna vaccine and it was well tolerated as well with them. So if you have that advantage, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get the same one that they got if they responded well. Um, so there it is. I will vlog the second injection, which is going to be in four weeks, and I'll let you know how that works out. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, smash that like button, and leave me a comment down below. It really helps out the channel. This is Lawrence Ryan signing off from Rebel Tunnel. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the other side.